and open our lives to the infinite possibilities born of your love. Amen. Lester Tanner could not have had any idea the place that he would stake for himself in history by sharing the story of the man who had saved his life during World War II. But that often happens with witnesses. Witnesses often fail to understand the significance of what they have seen. Lester Tanner was one of about a thousand American soldiers who had been captured during the Battle of the Bulge and taken to a prison camp near Ziegenhain, Germany. There, he and a number of other people witnessed a tremendous day when the ranking officer that was being held captive by the Nazis, a man by the name of Master Sergeant Roddy Edmonds, stood for his people. The men were all called into formation, and the commanding Nazi officer asked Edmonds to identify for him all of the Jewish troops in their ranks. All of them knew that identifying these troops was effectively signing their death warrant. Edmonds, without a moment of hesitation, without a second thought, looked at the commanding Nazi officer and said, we are all Jews. The officer became frustrated with him and asked him again, tell me who the Jews are. And Edmonds repeated, we are all Jews. By the third time, the Nazi officer was so enraged that he threatened Edmonds, and Edmonds said to him, if you kill any one of us, you will have to kill us all. And the officer walked away in his fury. Roddy Edmonds never really told anybody about what happened to him during World War II. When he came home, his family asked questions, but he never really said much. And it was only after he died that his son, being curious about his father's military service, decided to do a little investigating. And that was when he discovered this man named Lester Tanner. By that time, living in New York as an attorney, he had given an interview to the New York Times about a real estate deal that he'd been involved in, and somehow in that interview, he recounted a story that he'd recounted many times in his lifetime. And that was the story of Roddy Edmonds and how Roddy Edmonds had saved his life. But for the witnesses, but for the witnesses, we might never have learned the story of Roddy Edmonds. And the moment that he was called upon to risk his own life in order to protect the troops in that camp. Witnesses, witnesses are very, very important to our history. 
And today we celebrate one of those witnesses, a woman named Mary Magdalene. I have no doubt that Mary Magdalene could not have anticipated the stake that would be created for her in history. But she was a witness to a story unlike any other story that has ever been told. A story of love, a story of sacrifice, a story of grace. Now, to be certain, Mary Magdalene could have been deterred from even going out and telling this story simply by the way that her friends had responded when they had come to that empty tomb. They left almost as quickly as they got there. She could have wondered, will anyone even believe this crazy story that Jesus was right there and he called my name and I was talking to him? He died. Who's going to believe me when I go and tell them I am the witness, I saw him, I know that he is alive? She could have been deterred. She was not. She did what her teacher had asked her to do, and that was to go forward and to tell the world what she had seen. But for the witnesses, we don't get the story. But for the witnesses, we don't get the history. But for the witnesses, we are left unknowing. This day, like soldiers in the Ziegenhain camp, we in the Christian world stand shoulder to shoulder. We stand shoulder to shoulder, peering into that empty tomb and choosing not to hurry away, but to linger, to weep, to mourn, and to wait for Christ's presence to seep into us. Today, we stand shoulder to shoulder with Christians throughout the world who are called to go forth as witnesses, to tell the story to all sorts of people who do not yet know our God, to tell them of his love, to tell them of his sacrifice, to tell them that his son conquered death. Today, we stand shoulder to shoulder with Christians throughout the world who now close ranks around the vulnerable, the oppressed, the marginalized, the forgotten. We close ranks around one another and hold one another up in love and support as we refuse to give one another up to the forces of wickedness and destruction that would try to claim our lives. This day, we stand shoulder to shoulder in love. Love that is great, love that is powerful, and love that can force even the deepest of darkness to flee. Alleluia. Christ is risen. Christ is alive. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
standing as we are able, let us affirm our faith using the words of the Nicene Creed. <laughs> 